What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to some more player pack reviews and we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of a training guide as well. Let me know if you want a specific one but we will be covering Gavi here as the big time epic player in this one. This guy is insane. I mean look these players if you are a newcomer coming along these players definitely with only 50 players you know it's five spins for 10 players there if you get it. Um, If you are looking to kind of have a, a squad that you can build around or five players you can build around there are some excellent players here uh i must say you know gabby is definitely even though his stats are insane he definitely plays above his stats as well fatty is a fantastic winger you've got both options here of a left back you've got a defensive kind of minded one and you've got a very attacking based one that's kind of roberto carlo-esque and you've got christensen which is a very decent center back as well i would say so we are going to start we're going to kick through with alonso first now alonso as i said he is a left back him and uh, alejandro balde are very similar players in terms of their stats and in terms of their rating but very different players on the pitch right because with alonso you've got pinpoint crossing you've got fighting spirit you've got long range shooting first time shot a lot of that kind of stuff but his stats are defensively based, right? So he does have early crosser and pinpoint crossing. So he's going to be able to swing those balls in. He is a full back finisher as well, which means that he won't get a forward as much as an offensive forward or an offensive left back uh, such as Balde, but he will be able to kind of get forward when you need him and more of kind of a technical left back rather than just pace, 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 right? So you've got a nice kind of, you know, yin yang thing going on there that if you do get Balde or Alonso, you've got both options there, right? Looking at the rest of his stats when we go over to eFootball DB, we do have his stats here, um, which we're going to get up with a 90 rated leveled up Marcus Alonso, right? So you've got excellent stats all around the board here, depending on how you want to train him up. As I said, lads, I will do dedicated training guides per player if you want to see them, uh, you know, for any of the players that I do in this series. We do have eight teams to go through, so it's a lot of uh you know player breakdowns and stuff um and look these guys have been similar to their standard versions you can see there that this guy alonso his standard card is 35 levels compared to 27 so you're just getting a bit more bang for your buck i think with the team play style and of course as well as that you've got a few different skills on some cards these cards are pretty much identical uh, apart from the the stats uh, the discrepancies between you know the eFootball Pro ones, uh, the eFootball Championship Volume Four, and the standard cards, right? So you know it's up to you. But ninety stamina, eighty two aggression, eighty one offensive awareness, and of course we've got the passing and dribbling type possession, all that sort of stuff. Eighty two aggression is quite nice for this card as well. Similarly with Balde, right? He doesn't have as many player skills. He's definitely more of a kind of you know, I would say like a pace kind of left back, a pacey left back. He is an offensive full back, as you see there. Um, you know, he's obviously a smaller kind of player, more nimble, more versatile and more mobile. Uh, but I do like him. Now, they didn't release a player of the week of him before. This card is actually better, in my opinion, because you can get the, the speed, the acceleration just a little bit higher. But you have less offensive awareness, but more defense. Right. So you could train this guy up. If you don't, if you want to stay away from defensive um, capabilities with this guy and just kind of manually defend, right? I think tackling maybe go to eight on that, and then you'll have four more points to go. You've seventy five on tackling, which is more than enough for a left back. If you are going to be manually defending a lot with Balde, which I would recommend do, I would not pump that many stats into defending. I would say you know seventy four, seventy five. We'll see how the rest of the the stuff shakes out here, but you're not going to get those defensive skills with him. Now you can train him up. Obviously, you can put interception and blocker on him, which you know changes this card. But I definitely think the fact that he is double touch. You add one touch pass to this guy and he's he's going to be a bit of a monster for you right so if we're not going to be going defensive um we're going to be going kind of like technical on the ball getting up and down the pitch so i would probably either put you know another couple in to get his dribbling up really high you could get 90 with the dribbling for a left back with 91 acceleration or else you could go 88 with the dribbling and you could pop a few more into acceleration to get it to 93 and the reason for that is you want the offensive awareness it's not just about the acceleration you want the balance above 80 and you want the offensive awareness above 73 so that's kind of where i'd go with him there again a very good card uh we also have christensen who is here as well and this guy is lads look on first look at this guy he doesn't have many player skills he doesn't have blocker and he doesn't have unwavering form which is a bit of an issue right he's more of a kind of a build-up uh center back as you can see here you know such is uh, a lot of these cards that have the build-up they're not very defensively uh strong straight off the rip now you can train him up quite well and this is what we've done here with this build right 
So we've got 21 levels to go, which is 40 progression points, 5 into dexterity and aerial strength, and then 4 into lower body to get that stamina up to 79. We don't, look, we don't really need the stamina up if you're going to be playing him as a centre back. I would probably be happy enough with 75 stamina, depending on whether you're going to be changing him, you know, at the 60 minute mark or not. You know, these guys, in my opinion, you probably do need good backups on the bench, uh, especially if they don't have unwavering form, you know, more chances uh, are going to be there that these guys are not going to get the form arrows going their way all the time, right? So you could gamble and say, right, we're going to give him 72 speed. The speed and acceleration don't matter as much for the defensive players, including the MF, center backs and fullbacks. So you could get away with that, but I don't think that there's a point in putting one more into defending, right? Or dexterity. 70 acceleration is more than enough. So I would probably pump it into either dribbling or passing, right? Now, this is kind of counterproductive, you'll say. Why do I need dribbling with my center half? But tight possession is a hugely important skill or, or a stat to have. You could also pump four into passing, which gives you 77 low pass, which means you can kind of play balls in over the top. So depending on your, your play style, you could either play quick counter with this guy and have a very dominant center back, um, or else you could play possession if you want to upgrade the passing or the dribbling. You know, I would probably, for possession, I would probably upgrade the dribbling. For quick counter, I would probably upgrade the passing. So that would be how I do it. And then last but not least, we do have Ansu Fati and Gavi. Fatty is a very, very good winger, lads. He's he's one of the players I use very early on in the season. And this card is extremely good as well. I mean, you know what you're getting with him, right? You're getting pure speed, double touch. He doesn't have one touch pass. A bit of a letdown, but you, know, you can always give him that. Um, speed and acceleration is, is huge off the rip. And dribbling as well is huge off the rip. So when we train him up here, we're going to have 95 acceleration, 90 dribbling. But the big key with this card is the ball control and tight possession at 88. And of course, the balance at 85. I've spent a lot of time using Fatty um, on my earlier kind of games. And he is very good. He's I don't think he's as good as Vinicius Jr. Uh, in eFootball at the moment. But he definitely is there, thereabouts. Now, I had the legend card of him, this card here. And it was insane. But this card actually tracks up quite well. Because you've got, you know, a base stat of 83. But you've got 25 levels compared to 22. And it also tracks up against the player of the week quite well as well. You know, because the speed and the acceleration is going to be very similar. You've also got the dribbling way better and the tight possession, ball control and balance all better with this card. So I would say that this is one of the best versions that they have released of him, to be fair. Um, which is nice for newcomers if you are, you know, not playing the game that long. And then last, lads, we do have Gavi, right? Now, this is probably the player of the pack. Uh, obviously, you're going to have that B unwavering form. It's going to be very interesting to see in the eFootball Pro, um, you know, with these players or with the eFootball Volume 4 players, like how they actually go long term, like how they actually fit in long term, right? Because the big decision that you have to make if you're playing a whole player, which is what Gavi is, is, you know, who do you leave out? Because there's so many good whole players in the game. Obviously, there was a player of the week, Pedri. There was, you know, Kevin De Bruyne a couple of weeks ago. Um... And I do think that eventually you will be able to change kind of play styles and stuff to, to suit your needs. But this guy, it's not just about the stats with this guy, lads. Look at his player skills there. Double touch, one touch pass, true pass and outside curler. He's also got heel trick and soul control. And of course, he does have amazing run, incisive run, a long ball expert. So if you've played with Iniesta, if you've played with Pedri, if you've played with standard version Gabby, this guy is going to be insane, right? This guy is probably going to go... I think probably going to be the, going to be one of the most popular players that they've added, right? Especially because of you know his, his kind of excitement um, or the excitement level when people are talking about Gavi. Him and Pedri are two you know potential future all stars or superstars if they're not already, right? He goes to ninety five with this build. That is because he is down as a left midfielder, but he can play pretty much everywhere there that you want. I would probably play him as an AMF with this build. Uh, you've got 10 into passing, 11 into dribbling, which gives you 90 low pass, 93 ball control, 94 tight possession. But you've also got 88 acceleration and 89 balance. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Now, if you're not you know, playing him through the middle, I definitely think you can still use him on the left midfielder. If you want to play possession, if you're playing like a 4-5-1 and you want to use a very good possession-based team, you can just take down the dribbling a fraction to like 85 with the dribbling to just balance that. And then because you want to have him as a bit of an engine man, if you're playing left midfield, I would just boost that up a little bit. Boost the dexterity up, <coughs> excuse me, too, to get the offensive awareness as close as possible to 79. 
and you've still got the passing in the 90 range. So that is kind of how I'd go with that. That's a 96 rated version of him there. But I definitely think the first version of him was uh, a little better. But we will do a player guide if you wanted and give a couple of variations. So let me know in the comments below what you think. And let me know if you're going to spin or skip, lads. Some of these players are extremely good. Um, let me know what you think, who your favorite pack is. And we will be back up next. We will have Manchester United, which I'm quite excited about to, to look into. All right, lads, talk to you in a bit.